All right, so uh, welcome guys to the first kind of user tech versus user, I guess we can call it. This is my buddy right here. He's gonna be kind of giving some input on Norton 360 today. Say hi to the YouTube community. What's up, techies? Yeah, he really, that was the highlight of what he was looking to do, is yep. just call you guys techies, so. Yep, that's what, you, that's what I'm calling you guys. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> we'll, we'll just get right into the test here instead of listening to him yammer about how he doesn't know what he's doing here, because that's why I brought him here today. Uh, what is your background on computer skills here? Yes. Just kind of give everyone out there kind of a background. Absolutely nothing. I mean, Very you, you have an Alienware. I don't know really why, but... That's about it. I had to fix it recently. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I watched my Alienware communicating with Mothership video on that. Yeah, it was great. It was a great night. Yeah, it was a wonderful night. 300 hours later and three hours later. Yes. It works. It does finally work again. But he just plays video games, I think, and that's pretty much that's, that's pretty it. much it. When it comes to actually fixing the computer, he has no idea what to do. <laughs> yeah, that's Nothing. pretty much what he he comes to me for that. And security, how much concerned are you on a scale of one to ten with security? Zero. Seriously, it's a zero? Yeah, maybe not zero. Okay, come maybe, on. You maybe, gotta... maybe about a three or four. Okay, there you there you go. Now I'd believe right there is he's probably about a three or a four when it comes to security. So he's gonna be kind of helping out today and when we get an alert, he's going to say what he would click on and give an average user review on Norton 360. So we're going to go ahead with the installation. Well, you know what? Actually, with this, seeing the installation portion is the most important. I'm going to let him drive, and he's going to take yeah. the mouse, and he is going to go ahead and do what he would do. So we've got the setup file right on the desktop there. Just go ahead and install it how you would normally install it. So, okay, see, now that's the difference. I, I usually right click and run as administrator, but this is what he would do right here. And didn't even read anything, just clicks. That's exactly what he does. It's probably what everybody does. Not me. Besides you. Ex well, a lot of people actually read. And all the techies out there. Yeah. Who are probably laughing right now while they grab their popcorn and they sip their soda pop. Going, what the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> He's doing this all wrong. I can already hear it now. Yep. It's going to be in the comments down below. Probably. But that's why you're here. Yeah. Because you know what? There's people out there who are looking for an average person review, and you're going to give it today. Okay, so it's a starting. Please wait. Well, well thank you. Well, you did finish. <laughs> you are now protected. Okay, explore. All righty. All right, so this looks like the main interface here. Now, so far... I guess. Oh. oh, wait, hold on here. Great, an email address. All right, would you put one in? Depends where I got this from. Depends on what website I got it from. You got it right from Norton, obviously, because we just uh, downloaded it right. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, well. Okay, so. so then I'd enter my email address. Okay, so I'll enter my email address then. Okay. Hit next. Loading. Password. Hmm. Um, what should we have for a password? Minimum of six characters here. Let's do. Um, hmm. A B C. I'm not gonna actually say my whole password here. Yeah, that's cool. So now I can't use that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't want you getting access to my YouTube or my um account here. Okay, let's do this one here. Okay, so now I put a password in. Are we good? Yep, we're okay. good. So Alrighty. Typed in your password. You have typed the wrong password. What password. Oh, I think I already created an account with him. Shoot. Okay, click it again. <laughs> password? I think yeah. I think I already have an account with these guys. Um. Let's see, that was. All right. Uh, for the sake of this, we're just going to go ahead and... Change email. Address. No, no, no. We're just going to close it out because it should still work. Or No, no, no. Remind me later. There we go. All right. So, okay. Attention. You have not completed. All right. Just close it out. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Normally, you put an email just because I already have an account, guys. It's not going to let me in. I forgot my password. I don't really feel like looking it up. So, all right. Continue. Okay. Whatever you do. All right. So, now here's the interface, finally. So um, off the top of my mind, looking at it right now, I guess I would kind of, I kind of like it. I mean, I don't know what you think. Do you understand it or? or, or... Yeah, you got your security. Okay. I feel free to start clicking. On, just start clicking on things. I guess we'll, okay. we'll just start doing stuff. 
got view, t view okay. details, run scan. Okay, so that's kind of nice. Updates, and your firewall. Can you scroll down at all, or is it? I don't know if it. No, no scrolling. Okay. No, I think it cuts off there. That's okay. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Yeah. Okay, so identity. Identity would probably be all your personal stuff, like your name, your address. Yeah, I'm your pretty zip sure. Code, yep, your, your blood card. type. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how many, how many people put their blood type uh, on. Nowadays, you never know. All right, you got your backup, so you probably like if something goes haywire with the computer. Yeah, so it looks like Norton, and they do. They have a backup, uh, uh, online cloud backup that you can use. Oh, and okay. I think that's included. Uh, yeah, it's included with your subscription to Norton. I don't know how much the subscription costs though, off the top of my head. I think it's like forty dollars or something. But yeah, and, and then, then tune up. If I think I said be like for updates. Yeah, yeah, okay. To update you against new threats. What kind of whatever. let's let's check out the settings here quick. Like start up there. Okay, so we got tasks. Do you understand any of this stuff in here? Firewall. <laughs> Wait, that's it? That's all you no, no. That's the only thing? <laughs> firewall. Oh, what you love me <laughs> jerk. We got firewall, anti-spam, which would probably be like emails and stuff that are obviously spam. Yeah, yeah, okay. Antivirus, which would be anything like the virus that tries to get through your firewall. Somewhat, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah not, not, not really, but yes. Am I in the ballpark with that? You're kind of in the ballpark. Some some pieces of malware, uh, the the firewall can block them. Depending if it's like a worm, sometimes that's usually when firewalls will kick in, is if it's a network worm, um, to my knowledge. But otherwise, the antivirus is typically what's going to stop your, your your pieces of malware that you encounter online, such as you download a file. The firewall is pretty much not going to stop it unless, of course, the okay. program is trying to access a certain port that is protected. The firewall says, nope, you can't access that specific port. So that's my phone in the background. Thank you very much. Okay. My network would probably be your Wi-Fi network or whatever you're on. That's just the network in general, yes. Okay. So, yeah. The Norton family, I don't care about that. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like you have a silent mode, too, that's not checked over there. And, yeah, it looks like everything else is pretty much the, the same. Go ahead and click on administrative, administrative settings here. Let's see what that has. Here. I can, ah, there it is. Yeah, or you got it right there. Yep. yep. Okay, so yeah, it looks like Norton has some really granular settings, but it also looks like it's geared towards a simple user. I mean, if if you weren't using this right now, I guess it w weren't in this specific interface, I yep. should word it as. I mean, so far you'd say it's pretty easy. I mean, you installed yeah. it, and that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. Okay. It's basic. Yeah, it's basic. So I guess we can go back, because we're not going to get too much into the granular settings here. Um, you can close out of this. Completely? Yeah, yeah, just cl click close. Okay, oh, so now okay. we're back to our interface. Now, I want to go click on performance once. I think this is the same as I used to. Okay, so yeah, it's just a performance chart, nothing special. Um, overall, the interface, though, has changed completely since the last version. They used to have the black, kind of dark style interface, and this one is obviously a little bit lighter. So um, go back to home then, and yeah, click on home. Do you see where home is? Oh, duh. Yeah, right up there. Okay, and, and the, the whole big button idea, they really started in the last interface, and that's really good for a tablet use. I mean, for a desktop, it's nice too, but for a tablet, it's a lot better. So, all right, um, I think that's pretty much it for the interface. I mean, that's pretty much all you would do. And this is a lot more than you would do. You'd probably yeah. close the thing out right when you saw the interface saying, great, whatever. Um, so it says all everything's... I, all, all I would probably do is go here and do run a scan. Okay, like let's, yeah, it's good idea. Let's check that out. Then so, okay. I'll probably do a full system scan like I always do. Okay. And then I would hit go. Backup not set. Okay. Well, we'll set it back. Oh, okay. I guess we're going. Yep. Yeah, because you, okay. you didn't, it will ask if you wanted to set a backup, and you just said, no, we don't need to set a backup. So, all right. So, we're downloading the definitions right now. Um, it should have really done this in my mind right away. I don't know why it was sitting here the whole time do, not doing this. But, um, nevertheless, it's going to do it, I guess, right now. So, um, so YOLO. Yeah, well, what I'm going to do is, yeah, well, we'll just let this kind of update. And once the program is up to date, I guess we'll be back because yeah. I don't think we want to sit here and, you know, have you guys watch the program yeah. update as fun as it is to watch numbers scroll on a screen. It's and just the kind of, and the yellow line going Yes, back the yellow forth. line that just keeps going and going and going. Uh, I do have a fast internet connection, but, you know, we're not going to sit here and wait. So, all right, once the program is up to date, we will be back with. The um, showing you that's up to date, and then we'll start the links test of this this test basically. So, all right, be right back.
All right, guys, so we're back here and everything is up to date. Uh, made sure of it because we want to make sure we give it a fair test. So now at this point, um, I would normally reboot the computer, but I don't think you would. You would just kind of say that it would be secure and everything yeah. would be good to go. So, um, however, before I went on here, I should have gotten my VPN online. That doesn't take too long, though, so we'll just go ahead and quick get that. That'll take two seconds. Um, another thing about Norton, uh, I did test Norton 360, or not 360, I'm testing that right now. I did test Norton Internet Security in a previous video, and that one, uh, the difference between Norton 360 and Norton Internet Security basically is the backup software, that's it. So this is kind of a repetitive test in a sense, but the only reason I'm doing it is because we have uh, my buddy here helping out. So let's see here. Gotta find the right one. Let's go US. There we go. Okay. All right, this should connect in just a second here. All right, so we're connected. I'm gonna disconnect and reconnect to the network card to feed it the new network settings. And once we're connected to the internet, we'll be good to go. Right. Okay, so now we're connected to the internet. So we're gonna go ahead now and do our usual 10, 15 malicious URLs, depending on how it goes, and see what happens. So, okay, um, I guess what would you do here? Several add-ons are ready for use. I would probably, depending on what the add-ons are, so I just guess you choose add-ons. Okay, so let's see. Norton Toolbar, Norton, Vulner Norton Vulnerability Protection. Now, if it was me, I would enable it, but if it was you, probably you'd just be like, well, actually, I think you would enable it, wouldn't you? Or I would. You would? Yeah, it okay. says Norton on it. Yeah, I mean, it's legit, so, okay, we'll enable all. Sweet. Oh, that's so cool. It doesn't say Norton or McAfee or whatever the other one is. It starts with an MC. Since when do you use McAfee? No, I don't McAfee. know. McAfee, there you go, that's it. Sorry, I'm it, tired. Well, guys. a lot of people call it McAfee, yeah. but... Yeah, anyway... Like, to me, if it doesn't have anything that I, like, know that is a security program, I won't allow it to go through. Yeah, exactly. And that's, that's probably, well, unless you know it's legit is really basically the rule of thumb. You know, if you don't know what it is and it's trying to run. That's why I come to you for Don't that. run it. Exactly. That's when you ask me all the time. So, okay. So let's start running some links here. This is going to be link number one. Uh, we have Norton fully up to date. Didn't prompt us to reboot at all. So we're just going to go ahead and continue. VPNs are online, and you'd normally click run if you're downloading a program, right? Yeah, everyone does. Okay, so Norton is analyzing it in their cloud, it appears. Now, any alerts that we get, we're basically going to have... Click that one. Yeah, so I guess what would you... Can you click OK? You mean you only can choose you can OK. Only, <laughs> so. Yes, that was kind of a stupid question, I guess. All right, so now I'm going to view the details just because I want to see it, but there's since there's no actions... We really don't need him to do much in the way here. Okay, so it looks like um, details in this threat. Startup, no launch, no medium risk. Uh, doesn't really tell me. Oh, the threat name, here we go. Okay, so it looks like it's their cloud reputation type of service here. Uh, not a lot of people have downloaded it, so it's considered a risk. Real good. So number one was blocked. All right, and we'll go on to link number two here. And I should also get kill switch open before I do this. I still have not put that posted on the, my monitor like I said it was going to do. Because I always forget to open kill switch. Every video. I, I realize about two links or three links in. Oh that's right, I haven't opened well, kill switch well, yet. Well you made it one link, so I did. I'm getting I'm getting closer you're, and closer. You're getting better. I am getting better. Okay, so um, we're not gonna look at the usage because I'm pretty sure I did that in my past video. And Norton three sixty should be the same even though there's a few more processes, maybe a little bit higher, but nevertheless, it should be about the same. All right, so we're gonna run this one, if we can. Norton Artery hasn't stopped it. Okay, so it looks like this one has been moved or deleted, but yet we have received no prompts from Norton. I don't really like to see no prompts. I really wish that it'd prompt me. And that one you is- You can't do that in the settings? You, for Norton, go to the settings. There was something about a pop-up I saw. 
go to no 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 go to settings yeah, here we go okay go to where was it uh administrative settings there you go then there's something about a pop-up i'm pretty sure maybe i was seeing something things about a pop-up uh performance really been... alerting no that's that's performance monitoring no, that's, management okay that's maybe not it. maybe not and typically i like to leave everything at default i mean that's just kind of a more in my mind has always been a real a real world test to leave everything at default maybe oh, okay. maybe not but okay so let's go and test this one out now so we're still trying to find link number two I might have to go somewhere else because um, I don't know if link number two previous one was blocked or not could have been who knows but I didn't receive any prompts from Norton so I'm gonna consider it just dead all right well that's doing that we're gonna pick another one just to save time and let's see okay so it's analyzing it says it's safe so we're gonna, I guess you'd probably click next I would hit right? next yeah all right except next all right you I don't know okay I would hit just hit install now because I mean what are you gonna customize? yeah you, you're trying to install something right yeah and that's the thing you have to remember is you'd be trying to install yes. you, you think it's legitimate that's what yeah. you're gonna be doing you don't think it's malware so you can't have the notion here because obviously you know that I'm testing an anti malware program right now, so most of this stuff is probably gonna be malware. But regardless, I would do install now. Exactly. I would do customize because yeah. The only time you do that is if you're having problems and you need to reinstall a certain part. Yep. So okay, we're gonna consider two a miss right now, but that could be a false positive. But we'll find out. Okay, so this is number three. Okay, Norton is supposed to be analyzing in the cloud once again. And it states that it's safe. All right, so you'd probably click yes. Yeah, well, probably not because it's in Japanese or Chinese. Did you see that? It said the program. Yeah. Name. So I would probably click no. Yeah, I would definitely close so out of you, it So if no. you saw this, you'd probably just you'd, you'd get out I, of it. I wouldn't know what I'm, what okay. I'm agreeing to, so. Yeah, and what would you click here? I uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> one is gonna kill your computer and the other one. I'll this. let you drive, let's see what you'd click. This one's even high level light up this one does so it's obviously trapping you into this one so you Tra gotta do this one uh oh no i don't know i have no idea what i just did you you think you just installed it shit <laughs> see she wanted you to install it and you just fell for her so trap he's gonna pick her nose and jam it in your eye yeah wow all right don't mean that don't you think no she tricked me <laughs> so then what i would do is oh uh -oh, what is uh -oh. this oh no Oh no, this looks like some sort of ad is this, to me. Is this like the black oh, Hold on, hold on. Wait, what's this? Uh, Norton has blocked an attack. Okay, so it looks details. like... details. Can we stop notifying me? Secure. All right, so it looks like it blocked it? an attack. It did. But it didn't block the actual program. So I'm going to consider that a miss because it didn't block the source threat. So then... It's still trying to pop stuff up. Do you want to put that over there in your thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Click on number three and then we'll do... Okay, so number three has been... Oops, sorry. Oh, I'll go oops. back. Sorry. I pushed the wrong button. That's a miss. Okay. Okay. All right. We're back. All right. So I guess what I would do then is from now, from here, pretty sure, let me, I, what? Don't even I, know I don't is. even read right. that. What I would do is can I run a scan and it'll delete it? Like if I well, go to here. We're going to run a scan at the end. But but you okay, can, okay, okay, but, yeah, but yeah, you, up, can try, you can try it. You can try it because this is supposed to be a real world review. Be, because like this, you don't know what it is. So I can't do it right now. I can't just scan this thing right now and it'll detect. Well, you could, but I can tell you right now, it's not going to detect it most likely because it's a shortcut. That's all that is. It's not the actual program. You see, that's just a shortcut. Okay, the and then let me go to Control Panel. Uh, what do you? Why? Because you, you downloaded it, so it's in. Guys, the, you can tell that he's a newbie at computers. They're here. laughing right now. I know. Just keep munching on your popcorn, you, techies. All right. So, so like, then I go to where's Add or Remove Programs? Uninstall program right there. You're, you're an XP guy, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to try... Okay, I see what you're going to try and do here. And then you go here. Okay, so you're going to do it. You're going to see if you can do it that way. Okay, so we're going to see if we can get rid of this. It's not saving as... Okay, so it looks like Norton caught on something of that, but... Okay. I don't see it uninstalling, though, I don't, buddy. I don't see anything. Yeah, I don't think... I don't know if that's going to work. I don't think it's working. Damn it. Okay. All right. Whoa, well, what is this? That that's part of that piece of malware. I know that, that yeah, but yeah. I don't even know what it's saying. So we're no. gonna. Okay. Wait. Ooh, what's this? Security request. Okay. All right. We're gonna restart later. We're not gonna do it now. 
I know you probably would restart. I would restart. Yeah. Now. Okay. Obviously, you'd be you'd be afraid of that. So just say go ahead and let's see what we got for options. And at twenty four hours, because we're going to reboot at the end. Okay. And we're going to clear everything out. Okay. So okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just say okay. We'll reboot later. Because yeah, it obviously it didn't want to uninstall. So that yeah. is to me a piece of malware right there. So all right, let's pick another one here. Got to close out of this, or do you need this? I need that. That's our links. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You want to end the test right now, then? Yeah. Uh, hold on. What's going on here? Why am I? Something's going on in the background. We're downloading a whole bunch of stuff. I can see um, what do we got going for network stuff. Okay, yeah, we can definitely see that that program that that we just installed that we can't read. And I'm going to close that out that? before we load any pictures because I don't want to have to edit the video. So we're going to go ahead and try a different link. And you can see we have tons and tons yeah. of network connections uh, on my this, this virtual PC right now. So we're definitely infected with some and we just have more adware pop up on the desktop here oh, we did i didn't even notice yeah so this is definitely a piece of malware all right um trying to move on we're probably going to do just 10 links here instead of the 15 because it's taking too much time with this adware and it's 11 30 at night here thank you <laughs> thank you for letting everybody know what time it is right now even though it's going to have no Relative hey, aspect to hey, the video. Hey, we both worked six hours today. Yeah, At least yes. I did. Well, I worked more than that. Oh, well then. Yeah. You also had a break. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, so looks like it's analyzing this one. Uh, has no available reputation information, which tells me what. It tells you that it's not known. Like they don't know. So exactly is it, it, is it going to let me run Wait. it? Happens. Oh wait, hold on! Did, did, did it just get removed? Yep, it did. Okay, so that that threat just got removed. It looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna consider because that's the same name as that. So, all right, four is blocked. Woo! We're almost up to five, dude. Yes. And I think we're gonna switch sources here in just a second. We're gonna try this one right here. Okay. Because well, today is the ninth. Okay, so we're yes. still good. I'm checking the dates to make sure we're still doing zero day malware. Because I want to test malware that came out today. Ah. Oh. Uh. Sorry. Oh, Komodo is working. Y yes, I just tested out my security. This is another thing I always forget to do, is disable my web filter. Okay. Now, we can test it out. Okay, so link number five. Number five. Is not working? Not loading. Uh, tell me, please uh, tell me the link's dead in it. Nothing modified my host file. Because I know last time that happened. Okay, we're going to try the different one because I think that one might be dead. Okay, so this Here one we works. So we're just going to run it because it's normally like we're installing a program. we got to get that new screensaver, right? Yeah. That new game, Minecraft expansion yeah. Yeah, 3.0 or whatever. I don't play however, Minecraft. However, so. if I was installing a program, I would do save as. Save it on the desktop. Really? I don't know why. Yeah. I always, I've always done it that way. No. Okay, so you, you go ahead and you run right. it the way you'd run it. Okay, John's it's background it's, switcher. Oh. All right, John. What are your background going to switch? All right, Ooh, welcome we to the setup wizard. Okay. You're not going to read everything, are you? The word for word, I meant. Sure. Oh, this was no, kind no, of, no, I'm just oh. kidding, Techie. Settle down. <laughs> I can hear him right now. Yep, they're all going, oh my god. Okay, so. All right, so for this, I would keep it like this. I wouldn't do it, well, maybe a desktop icon. Just because yeah, I always do that. Do but thing other than that, I don't touch it because obviously they already know what you Microsoft need. Microsoft.net 2.0. And we're up to four. All right, John. Way to use some old software right there. I don't program .NET, so I'm not a programmer anyways. Keep going. Just wanted to add that in there. Even okay. though you're just like, your face right now Great. is just like, I really don't, <laughs> I don't, give, okay. a, I don't give a shit. All right, anyway, so I would hit next. <laughs> yeah. And then you'd obviously bring it here. However, with this, I... We oh, have an alert. We do. Should I click it? Or you don't have it? to. I mean, well, if you want to view the details, you can. But I mean, I want to see what it's blocking yeah. or whatever. Okay, so it looks like... Uh, a, oh, I think it's that piece of malware that we downloaded earlier. Oh, that's okay. on the desktop already. Anyway, it's with still, this... It's still blocking stuff. Okay. <laughs> but now, like, with this, obviously, I might put this in a different... I mean, I might keep it where it is. You're not going to change it. When do you change destinations, dude? Stuff for Flight Simulator. Oh, okay. I'm also big into Flight oh, Simulator hey. in case... That guy looks no. successful. He does. He's got a dragon. He's got something coming out of his arm. 
Hey. Uh, I don't. What, yeah, what is look that? at what? And, is that like part of a map or? Something? Oh, it's like a hologram thing. I see what he's doing. Oh, I think there's, there's yeah. Africa right there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyways, back to back, this. Yes. Sorry. All right. So the only time I really switch to this stuff is for Flight Simulator, yeah, okay. and he knows that I'm big into that. Okay. Yeah. But that's really the only time I'd switch it. Otherwise, I would just hit install. All right. So and here go, we go through its thing. Got to install it. .NET Framework 2.0. Yep. And then I probably I never read the what's. We there. don't have to run it. If, that's just and, gonna take more time. So. Okay, we're not gonna run it. But yeah. I normally I would just you keep just the selected and yeah. yeah hit finish. Normal. But I never read the readme file or what's. I know. Thing. It's why read the instructions, right? Then I'm you like, just complain to me why it's not, you know, it's not working. Dude, I'm a guy. So that has, a, so gender has something to do with it now? I don't, I, I've never read instructions in my life. Okay. All right, cool. So it's installed. All right. John's background switcher for my Windows PC that I can just switch the background on its own, right? Yeah. No, I'm betting that's for uh, Windows Starter because as most people on here know already, uh, Windows Starter, you cannot change the background. So and we have, up on the we have more malware popping up. And I'm sorry, dude, you got to go away. We don't need you there. Okay, I'm going to close this out so we get rid of that alert so I can keep an eye on kind of what's going on. Oh, hello. Remind me later. Oh, it's just telling me to set up. Okay, and that access vault, by the way, guys, that's where you can put your uh, credentials and stuff like that so that you can, let me if I can click on it. Ah, oh, it's going to have me sign in. Yeah, you can basically put your credit card stuff, sensitive information in there, and then it automatically populates the form, I believe, that you're trying to sign up for. It's a more secure way of doing it so that key loggers can't get into it. All right, so ss.exe. Could not be downloaded. It could not? All right. But, yeah, Norton is analyzing it. So my guess is Norton, uh, it says, is not safe and it has, has been, been removed. removed. Sweet. So number five... Yeah, number f this is number five, right? Or was no number five was missed. Yeah, That's right. We just did number five. Okay. All right, and number six is blocked. Okay, so we're up to seven. Cool. Um, we're on a roll. We're gonna go up to ten here. Okay. Ten, ten, and we're gonna switch sources here a little bit, and we're gonna go over to malware black. Oh, look at that. What is all that? We have favorites that have been added. See now, I guess if my computer ever got to this, I would do a system restore. Now, see, a lot of people do that, and that doesn't always work because a lot of malware nowadays is aware of System Restore, seeing System Restore has been around since Windows ME. Or actually, that Windows means... 98, I think. I can't okay. remember. Um, so, yeah, it basically, the malware can actually save itself and respawn and repopulate your computer after you do the System Restore. So the restore can sometimes be just pointless. pointless. Exactly. You, you'll think everything is fine. And, and then you'll have it come right back after the restore. So, because a lot of times it infects the system restore area. That's why when you, if you've ever read virus removal instructions, it actually instructs you to delete your restore points before removal of the malware, so oh. that it deletes all the malware and the restore points, and you can essentially start out fresh. So, all right, this is link number seven. That is not working. All right, we're off to a great start. I don't even think this one's gonna. This is a dot org. Usually these gets removed pretty quick. Though. Oh, no, this one's working. Uh, could not be verified, but we're going to ignore that anyways because we're not testing Internet Explorer. We're testing Norton. All right, so it says that it has a reputation. Okay, we're going to go back here. I don't know why I didn't go back this sooner. but Okay, so nothing is... Looks like that's not running in RAM yet. But we do have a lot of that other malware that's running in RAM. Um, I'm going to consider that a miss just because I have not received any and oh wait hold on what is that there we go that's blocked it's been removed wait what is this what's oh i just clicked oh, on oh. yeah i clicked on that that was that was my okay. bad but yeah, okay so it's been removed sweet um let's move to this one right here maybe maybe not fishing for malware right Never know what you're gonna get. If you get anything, you, it's hard to say. Okay, huh. that one is dead. All right, let's go ahead and try this one right here. And that one's dead no. too. Maybe we'll go back to malcode. 
Or actually, we got Virus Vault, or v, not Virus Vault, VX Vault. So oh, here we go. Here we go. Support.exe for all those technical needs, right? Well, I think that just showed up down there, too. The thing was really for a while. Really? I think it's a Japanese thing. Oh. Huh. Chinese thing. I'm not sure what yeah, it's, it is. It's got to be related to that Japanese, Chinese, Chinese Asian these. thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that was been blocked. Sweet. So now we're up to number nine. We need two more. Cool. Can we find two more links? At this rate, probably not. Not on probably this website. Not. It's probably going to be dead. All right. So this was from. Six, ooh, ooh, that's pretty old stuff. We're going to go. This seems to be like we're trying to find a needle in a haystack. Right it now. pretty much is. We're going to go to VX Vault here. And let's try. We'll try this one. Because, I mean, everyone would run bot.exe on their computer, right? Yeah. That sounds safe. Okay, that one did not work. Hey. There we go. Russian domains. They uh, always are successful. D. And it looks like it's been removed. Ah. Uh. Because I had that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yes. oh no, it's it's um, Internet Explorer. Yeah, it's oh. been removed because oh. it can't find it anymore. Oh, okay. It's requiring permission, and of course Norton now has control of it. So most likely, what's going to happen is you'll see Norton block it. So I'm going to consider nine blocked right in it right now, and we're going to continue with something else. Is this our last one? This will be our last can one. Can I pick it? You can pick it. All right. Pick the link. You have to highlight it though, and then I'll I copy know. it. Yeah. I got to go with today's day, right? Uh, you don't have to. You can. Okay. Pick, I mean, it, the older you go, the more likely it's to be blocked. Just so you know. Ah. So okay. the newer it is, if we want to go to back to mail code, you can go back to mail code. Let's go with this. Wait, do we try this one? No. Okay. K.exe. All right. Where do I put I it? I copied it in the address bar. Put it up here. Yep. There we go. All right. Run K.exe. Uh -oh. oh, all right. So it could not be verified. That's Internet Explorer, though. So hey, so um, normally, obviously, when you'd see this, you'd be like, "Uh, I don't think I want to download yeah. that." Yeah, but in this case, we're not testing Internet Explorer, so continue. So hit run. Yeah, yeah. We just want to run it. Okay. It's it's been was... moved or deleted? Retry. Uh, you can retry it, but it most likely Norton has blocked it. Yolo. Yeah. <laughs> right, Yolo. It... Yolo. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this is gonna run. Okay, well then here. Yeah, I think Norton blocked it. All right, well then fine, Norton. He wants to find one that runs. It looks like. I do. Try this long one. Do Do the colors mean anything? No. Well. Like this one's green. I this think one's they, yellow. This one's orange. I think they do. This one's um, red. You see that? I, don't, I haven't used VX Vault that much, so okay. I don't really know. Any of you techies, if you know, comment. There's tech, probably some people know. on here that use v, uh, VX Vault, so yeah, they can probably tell you. That'd be cool. I'd exactly. Like to know. So he wants to know. Oh. Back? Oh. Yeah, hit back. All right. That's normally why I copy in there a tab. That's why I have the two tabs open. Okay. Let's try this one. We did that one already. Well, then. Let's D try D.exe. Them. Remember that one? Kind of. Okay. Dot .exe. Let's try this one. Yeah, we'll do okay. I think that, yeah, or you can do it the your way. The long way. I call it the grime way. How do I copy and paste? What's your answer right here? All right, here we go. Oh, oh, okay. Dot .exe. Oh, yes. Did I find one? It's downloading. Yes. We'll see if it gets blocked. The other one did get blocked, I think, but... Yeah, well... It didn't show up in memory, and... Yeah. I didn't get any alerts, so most likely it was just quarantined. All right. We'll hit run. We got a runner. Oh. Has not been safe or has been removed. Oh, it's not D safe and has been removed. Okay. But it didn't say okay.exe. Huh. It says D1.exe. But that wasn't the name of the that wasn't the name of it. It was OK.exe. Oh. Something else. Oh. There it is. There it is. It's K, but what's the O? Oh, whatever. I think it, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it, it's, it's got to be that one. All right. OK.exe. K. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's OK. All right. That's OK. All right. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we do have malware in the system, it looks like. But we're going to go ahead and continue... Because normally, obviously, you do a scan at this point, right? Yeah. But yeah. I would have done a scan on the first one. Yeah, exactly. But but um, so what we're gonna do is, you know, I I think we will reboot the computer just because I want to give Norton a chance to kind of clear everything out. Well, you'd re yeah, you'd probably yeah, you'd reboot the computer. Well, you'd do a scan, but we're gonna do that later. Yeah. Yeah. 
we're, you could tell this is our first kind of test here. I'm trying to figure out how we're going to do this and how to kind of combine techie versus non user. Non-techie. Yeah, we'll call it non-techie. Anti-techie. Anti-techie. Or I'm the anti-techie. Yeah. I think they figured that out by no, now. I think we did too. Your copy and pasting methods. Whatever, techie. Oh, uh, man. Normally I'd pause the video here, but seeing we're sitting here yakking, it's yeah. kind of like, this reboot's pretty quick anyways. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to continue normally what I would do on a test, which is zero-day malware testing. We're going to go ahead, extract that folder of malware, whatever we have in there, however much we have, scan it, see how much we can remove, and whatever's left, we're going to run it. Okay. Because that's what the program doesn't know about. So then you can go ahead and drive on that. Okay. There's going to be things popping up left and right, most likely. So, all right, well, we had the startup sound, and John's background changer is still there, as well as uh, all that stuff I can't read. And I mean, they ha you know, I have to give him credit. They do have some nice icons there. I mean, they someone do. really took a lot yeah. of time to design those icons. I've always noticed that about that. It's kind of nice. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to temporarily disable the antivirus here. Um... I don't know if auto protect is a oh. full antivirus. And I want to make sure I get everything. So we're going to go to settings here. Antivirus. Um, okay, I think that might be. I might have to turn off all this stuff here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And we're going to do it for an hour. Now, the reason I'm doing this is for t explaining to the user over here is because I need to extract this folder of malware. And I want to do a contact scan. If I don't turn off the AV, it's going to sit here and find every little piece of malware. Oops, not infected. And it's going to take a lot longer. So, okay, we have extracted our malware and we still have our stuff from Japan or it, China. You know, it's, it, it's like a game. You don't know what you're going yeah. to click on. It's kind of like find the ball behind the cup. Like, it, okay, good luck. Yeah. Really, did you have to make a rhyme in my video? Like, was it absolutely necessary to make a rhyme? It was. Find the ball in the cup. Good luck. <laughs> Anyways, so it looks like we have 131 pieces of malware in this folder. Remember that number. It's very important. 131. All right. Okay. So now we're going to do what you said, which is a context scan, it's called. And we're going to scan and see how much malware it can find. Depending on how fast this goes, I may pause the video. Um, 21 items scanned. Yeah, I think I'm going to pause the video. And we're going to go ahead and remove everything it finds. And then once everything's been removed from that folder, we will be back. So see you in a minute. Bye, techies. All right, guys. So we're back. And we have, of course, all this stuff right down here popping up. So I'm going to go ahead and close these, kill those two, because they're just kind of being annoying. And I don't really want them to keep being annoying. All right. So those are dead. And we have two Microsoft uh, processes. These are legit, but Komodo just doesn't know about them. So those are gone. All right. Did a scan, Norton, and checked again. Did another scan, found nothing. So everything that was going to remove has been removed. So we're going to open up the folder here and see what it found. Ten items remaining, which is not bad. That's actually quite good. We had 131, remember? Yep. So what we're going to do is find out what the percentage is. So 131 minus... 10 equals 121, obviously, divided by 131 gives us a detection rate of 92%. That's actually pretty good. That's about, that's average to above average in my mind. So the 92%, that's actually really good. Something to be proud of. All right. So now what we're going to do, we rebooted the PC already. Yep. So we're good to go. We're going to go ahead and re-enable Norton so that everything is good to go again. So fix that. I'm going to go and check the settings. I keep forgetting settings are up there. I don't know why I keep going down there. Um, auto protect. We're going to make sure that goes back. Wasn't that on? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was on. Why is auto protect not? In, why can't I turn that on? Oh, it's on. I can't. Oh, okay, I can't it's turn on it. already. Yeah, yeah, it's on already. Maybe. I don't know why I can't turn it off, but anyways. It's like you're trying to turn the light switch on when it was already up. Exactly. All right, so it's whatever. It states that we're protected. Our system is good to go. So now I'm going to let the user over here drive, and we're going to execute all this malware. Okay. So just start at the begin. Oh, you, you just went up. Just click on the folder. You just hit the side button. There oh, you go. This is weird. 
All right, um, hold on. Move this. Let me just quick move this so that everyone can see Kill Switch here. The techies like to see what's going on in the background. Oh, okay. Like all that stuff. And stuff. All right, continue. All right. All right, so he's going to run all this malware here. Norton's on. Everything's good to go. So go ahead and start just Start running. These are all programs. All right, so it looks like that one's in RAM. And it just closed, so either Norton has analyzing it. Just or, good yeah, you can keep going. Yeah, okay. Just kind of give it, you know, I usually kind of give like a five count or something. Okay. You know, all right, so it looks oh. like uh, Sonhar has removed that first threat. You can see it just disappeared. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. That's a good sign. That's what we want. Yeah. Because um, this is basically what Norton couldn't detect. They had no signatures for this. This is unknown to Norton. Okay. So we want to see how well Norton's going to react to stuff that doesn't know about. Still analyzing it. Yep. Well, that's Komodo that's doing that. This is this is kill switch. So. But um, oh, okay. we're looking for Norton to remove it. So, so far oh, it hasn't, okay. so you can keep going. Okay. Antivirus 2014, that's most likely a rogue. By the way it's worded, it might not be. Oh. But, okay. okay. Google.exe. Yeah, we want to Google that shit, right? Good hit yes. Well, hit whatever you want. I mean, you're I, 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 would, I would hit yes. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like Google's in RAM. Um, it looks like uh, something has been, I'm not even going to try to even list that off, but all right. We got a couple of run DLLs going, oh, a lot of stuff gone. going on, and it just killed itself. Sonar has completed processing threats. It looks like maybe Sonar's blocked it. If you want to see if it did, click view details. Let's see here. Oh. Oh, another one. Oh, another mean? one. Okay, it looks like it did three. Um, Google. Yeah. Sonar. And yep. other sonar. So it blocked the Google one. Awesome. That's what we wanted to see. All right, so you can close that out. Okay. And just keep going. Antivirus 2014 is still, still running. It's still doing something. Yeah, we don't we don't know what it's doing still. And that one hasn't gone RAM, but Google, uh, Google, jeez, Norton has probably kind of put it off to the side and is analyzing it most likely. But and this one is not doing anything. Yeah, maybe that one could be broken too. Oh, it might okay. not be working. Some malware just doesn't work. I see. And it crashes sometimes too. Yeah. That's the best kind right there. Yeah. Right now it's analyzing up there and kill switch. Yep, so it's running on the RAM right now. It's actually running on the system. The hard drive is going absolutely insane. And you can see right down. That's where I'm looking. Ah. That's my hard, that little orange, that's the network. That's your, Yeah, it's the hard disk. Ah. Yeah. So it's doing something. Something is doing something. All right, so you can okay. go to the next one. Okay. Yep. So it looks like it was accessing some network information there. I recognize the process correctly. Yep. Um, okay. Blank so it looks like something was. The internet. Yep. Don't know what it is. Don't know what it is, but. It was blocked from accessing the internet. Yep. If I had to guess, it was either this one or this one. I think it was the one you just ran. Oh, okay. I think because it just crashed too, it looks like. Um, Wait, did you what, you just ran that one, right? Yes, because this yeah, one yeah. didn't work. Okay, yep. And this one yeah, didn't yeah, yeah. do anything. Trying okay. to keep in. Got it. Out what you're doing. All right, so yep, you go ahead to the next one, I guess. Well, I think this one's a false positive. I ran into this one before. It doesn't really do much. You just yeah. close it out. It, I don't. I don't understand it. Ah, okay. Purchasing order Ooh. for that new thing you just bought, right? Yeah. It, Battlefield Hardline, right? Yeah. It's new things I buy all the time. A lot of times those come in emails. Yeah. Saying like, oh, the package couldn't be delivered. You've heard about those before. I yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it says click here to do this, and it's not from. Click here. Yeah, you got to download this. Oh, okay. Sweet. Here we go. It looks like it just oh. disappeared. Yep. It's brought it up that this. Yep. So I'm assuming it's saying that it killed it, or it blocked it, or whatever you techies call it. Uh, Google bot. Okay. So it looks like it tried to spawn something else, or something tried to spawn something else. By the way, look what we have running in RAM up there. If that does, if the name doesn't give it away. Where am I looking? Right up there. Trojan? Right there yep. Trojan.exe. The name doesn't give it away. No, not at all. It's not yeah. condoms. Yes. I knew this. I, you know, in the back of my mind, I thought that's probably what he's thinking when he well, sees that. I mean, come on now. All right. Oh, the version. Of, okay. Oh, it, um, it, it's the wrong architecture. It looks like it only is compatible with 32-bit uh, and have a 64-bit oh. operating system running on here. All right. So that's all the malware. That just went right over my head. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you for just letting me just roll right, right over. Right over. <laughs> Anyways, the techies understand. Yeah, they do. 
Yeah, that's good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we ran everything. The hard drive is still, well, that's not really going, but it looks like it's trying to read a whole bunch of data. They can't see that. That's off the, That's off screen. They can only see the text oh. bar and stuff. Oh. Like, it's like a normal computer. Thing. Wow, well, now I feel like an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to water. reboot the computer once again to clear everything out. Or what? Let me ask you. At this point, would you reboot the computer, or would you just go right into a scan? I would do a scan. You just okay? Then we're and gonna then, do that. And then you it, go start a scan. Then, seeing this is your review, really. All right. So you click up there. And I would do a full system scan. But for the sake of time, we'll we're do gonna a do quick a, we're scan. gonna do a quick scan. But I'm yeah. telling you, I would. Yeah, do he full. would do a full scan just because he's paranoid like that. But yet, doesn't really be paranoid at some things. I don't understand his method of. You know, security. He, he does these. He does these scans, but yet he doesn't have his program up to date. When, when I go over, when I go over and look at your computer, and it yeah. says that Komodo is out of date, well, I, that was because you didn't have your computer on. I, yeah, because yeah, okay, it was I, all I, screwed up. But besides you didn't install, that, you did install like your it. updates last night, though. Yeah, I was surprised about that. So, all right. Well, while it's scanning here and looking for all sorts of fun things that are on this system. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, save some time, and when it's all done, we'll be back with the final verdict. So, all right, guys, so um, we're back, and um, obviously, you can see I have a little more stuff down here on the bottom on the task bar. I kind of screwed up. Me, screw up, I know, right? Yeah, um, so, not you. Thank you for that moral support there, user. <laughs> Anytime, buddy. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, our scan finished with Norton, but I also did the scans with... Komodo, Malwarebytes, and Hitman Pro, like I usually do. Forgot to do those. I don't know why. Kind of slipped my mind. Anyways, we got two tracking cookies here. Successfully removed. Not a big deal. Then we have a suspicious EPI, which is Antivirus 2014. That's in the malware folder. That's not running currently. Uh, and then we also have, let's see here, a Trojan.exe, which is in temp. And that's not exactly a big deal. Uh, because in the temp folder you could easily just remove the temp files and that would be deleted however it is a trojan it is on the system it is capable of running um, it did run it did modify stuff so you know it got past Norton it's gonna go against Norton overall though it looks like it did pretty good if we look at Komodo Komodo found nothing we go over to Malwarebytes obviously by the little window I didn't close out here you can see Malwarebytes detected something yeah. So if we go over to Malwarebytes, you can see that it detected, uh, I believe, eight objects is what I saw the last time. We have that Trojan in temp, which Norton did detect. And let's see what else we have. I think that's pretty much it. A couple registry keys. So I think Norton has successfully detected the same threat that Malwarebytes did. So essentially, Malwarebytes didn't detect anything. This stuff is in the malware folder. That, once you delete it, would be gone. It's not actually running on the system. So I can't count that against Norton at all. Let's go over to Hitman Pro. Hitman Pro, much of the same thing. Malware folder, we can't take those against, uh, can't count that against Norton at all. Uh, however, this one right here, which is in the startup folder, it's a Trojan. That's quite concerning because that means it's going to basically start when the system is at rebooted. And my guess, it's one of these over here that keeps popping up all those Asian people that yeah that you so you know so much love to see and everything, and made all those nice comments about. <laughs> Uh, and all really? the Asian signs too. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's basically uh, pretty much it for that. And otherwise, everything looks to be pretty normal. So it's just that one really that Norton missed in my mind, which is not bad at all. You know, it's not bad it missed one. However, it did miss a major threat in my mind because it's in the startup folder. So, you know, it's kind of kind of gonna go in the final verdict of Norton. So, with everything that you've seen here now. What would you think about Norton? I mean, watching it interact with malware, and you do have this on the desktop. I yeah. mean, would you would you recommend people to use this product? I mean, I would. You 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 would use Norton? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, it's a decent interface. That's what I'd like. I mean, you've it's seen basic. it. Basic. Yeah, you've it's seen not too high tech where it's like I don't know what I'm doing. It didn't give you any cryptic alerts. Like yeah. you understood all the alerts and stuff yeah. like that, where you were able to navigate it, and that's what we're looking for here. Is something that's going to be easy to use, but yet also provide protection to the system, and it protected the system in my mind pretty good. Yeah, you know, it missed a few pieces of malware. This stuff over here easily clean. You can easily clean that up. Malwarebytes found it. 
Um, you can use like ADW cleaner if it's um, any form of adware or something like that. That would clean it up. The system is still operational. The system is not bogged down to the point where it's unusable. Um, let me see if our homepage was changed. I didn't even check that. Um, our homepage is changed. Yeah, we got a Facebook thing. We up do there have now. something, and I'm going and to it's actually in Japanese. Yes. So obviously, whatever we installed here, it did change our homepage, and that well, this was actually up there all the time. Oh. That was that was from um, what was it? Um, that's for Norton. That's legit. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was always up there. But oh, okay. Nevertheless, this our homepage has been changed. That goes against Norton too. It allowed that to happen. But that's easily fixable. You can just once you remove the malware, you can just go back here, type in Google.com. If you can type Google. It, th thank you for that lovely comment. And then obviously you can get to Google that way, and then that's all fixed. So not anything that really overwhelms the system to the point where it's unusable. So I guess in my mind, I would have to recommend. Uh, I, I would have to say Norton 360 did a good job. Same as the Internet Security. Um, would I recommend it? I think there's a couple better options out there, but if you choose to go with Norton, I think it'd be a good option. And obviously the user over here too agrees with me. Yeah. So this has been the uh, first, I guess, episode, if we call it episodes. I don't yeah. know. I don't know what we're going to really call we, it. We episodes. might as well call it an episode because let's face it, all the techies are probably finishing up their popcorn and they enjoyed a good show. I don't think they have popcorn, Andy. They might. No, they don't. They probably do. They're probably <laughs> laughing because they're probably like, I should have got some. I, I, don't, I don't think they have popcorn. I can tell you I've never eaten popcorn watching a review before. I have. I have eaten things. Yeah. And drank things. Okay, popcorn. But I've, yeah. I've never actually had popcorn. Okay. All right, so we'll end this review. You know, it's been quite a long review here, but these are probably going to be longer because it's going to take a little longer for the user to figure out what he's doing here. Yep, guilty. Yes. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll end the video here. So that's, we'll see you next time. Bye, techies.